if you want to know what I've gotten my little one for Christmas and Hanukkah and New Year's 2018 for a toddler keep watching I hope you guys like it you meant the world to me. Hello you guys and welcome to life in general vlogs today's video is all about what i got my little toddler she's almost 15 december months old. 3rd she will be 15 months old so i wanted to get her something that is not just a toy but also educational and budget friendly and so me and ryan don't go crazy with all of these toys because i know my family members and my in-laws and friends they'll be giving her toys already um, I am sure of that and clothes but there's things that I wanted to get her that I could start homeschooling her a little bit and teaching her and educating her slowly it's a very budget-friendly video on what to get a little toddler someone between an age of one to two I think it's perfect she's gonna love it and our next little one uh, I think he's gonna enjoy it next year too all right so the first thing I did I went to a dollar store and me and her went together and there's things that i wanted her to get dollar store is a great way to put a basket together maybe for christmas or hanukkah because on hanukkah you give each gift each night for eight days so i wanted to do something fun and educational and affordable so i don't have to spend a lot of money because i know she's gonna rip it she's gonna destroy it she's a baby and that's what they do Anyways, the first thing that we did, and we got a couple of these little guys, they're like a dollar. Dollar Tree is amazing on um, having little books and stuff. She picked out this herself. It has numbers. It's all about the cats. We have a cat and she adores Pantro. I don't know if you watch our vlogs, you guys, or not. But it's like a little cardboard, little Dollar Tree book. But she picked it out herself and I said, okay. I like her to be independent, so I like her to pick out some of her stuff herself. Mm. They're at any dollar store. So these are little cards, flashcards. These are Winnie the Pooh. They're more like a puzzle. So we could put a puzzle together. There's numbers in there. There's letters on there. So there's all different types of them. You just have to dig through the section. Um, these are amazing I can't wait to use these and this is gonna be more for Hanukkah and a basket for Christmas and night before Christmas and then shapes and colors I think this is amazing she's already watching a lot of shape and colors uh, videos um, but I think this is pretty cool I also got these little glow sticks when we do bath time, I want to try to do glow sticks and turn up the light and see how she'll react. I think this would be lots of fun, especially for New Year's. So it's going to be part of my Hanukkah gift for her or Christmas. I got a couple of these sticks. We'll see how she reacts. Probably she'll go crazy for them. The little map that goes on a wall and you count and stuff like that. Or you put it on the floor and play it as a game. With dice, I guess. I don't know. I've never... You know educational poster but we could probably play it as a game or something like a monopoly thing i have no idea i that goes on a wall and um there's a lot of them i think that's like 10 of them yeah so they're gonna go on a wall and uh, we're gonna do that in the spring probably we wanted to put a map on a wall so we every time we walk by she points at things at this age she she asks what's this Honestly, she doesn't say much, but what she says, it's what's this? And she points at things. So this this little map thing, I think is gonna be awesome. I'm trying to show her more about dinosaurs and animals and stuff like that. So I saw these at the Dollar Tree. I don't know how much of a resemblance they have, but they are not a bad quality of dinosaurs to start with. She picked out for herself. As I say, I'm trying to uh, raise a independent. She's a very smart girl and I want her to. I think sometimes parents don't give enough credit to their little kids. They think, oh, they don't understand enough to pick out something. But they actually do. I want her to always know that she always has a choice in life. 
whether it's picking out little dinosaurs or books or anything or clothes or anything that she doesn't like because that's gonna put a pathway of her knowing hey I will never settle for less I know what I'm deserving of and I know what I want that's my opinion and that's how we want to raise our children but anyways I'll do a video on parenting and how we want to parent our kids and stuff like that I'll make sure to have a video linked up to this video once I have that other video <laughs> anyways they're like this this one is a lot more harder it's like plastic but I thought it would be nice for her to play with and role play Ryan plays a lot with her herself I don't think she knows what it is she just like the colors I guess Dollar Tree is awesome you guys and then eventually I'll be I'll buy her like a big set or something in the summer um, once she gets a little bit older for her second birthday probably I'll get her like a dinosaur set let's move on now this is what I've gotten her in my opinion I think that's an educational and fun toys that will last us for a while also with our little baby boy uh, if you guys know that I'm expecting a second baby I'm currently actually almost 30 weeks I'm 29 weeks and five and four days let's move on these are a little magnetic puzzles that I've gotten her. I got them at the, I don't know, I think I got them at Gabe's. It's like, it's almost like Marshall's or Rose. Not every state has it. It was like $6.99. TJ Maxx has them and Marshall's has them and Home Goods has them actually. They're magnetic uh, animals basically. Look like this. I think she's gonna enjoy them. It says age is two and up, but I think she's, she, she shows interest in stuff like this. And then at the, doll, uh, at the Target, I got these little breakfast, you know, uh, they're not magnetic, but they are wooden. She has a little kitchen and you guys won't believe this. They were at the Dollar Tree, I mean, at, they were at the Dollar Spot at Target for three dollars can't wait to use these and play with them then i also got i think i got this at tj maxx this is a box with they're wooden everything that i got in here is wooden with the clock but it's not only that it's shaped colors and a clock so it's, it's an educational toy absolutely love it it says age three and up but i think summertime or even earlier, we'll be using it. Then Ryan really wanted to get her puzzles that you pull out and put together. So we did the ABCs. This was at the, at the Target dollar spot also for $3. I'm telling you, Target, you're doing awesome. I'm not sponsored by them. I'll quickly go through them. Same thing with the little animals, pet shop. I think that's a lot of fun and they're sturdy. I'm not worried about breaking or anything. And it was $3 again. And these ones are sounds and animals. So when you press on them, it has sound because it has a battery in the back. This I believe I got at TJ Maxx again. Or home goods, one of those stores. Um, this was $7.99. I think it's a steal for a wooden toy like that. And then also I got her ABCs and numbers for a tub. Uh, this is gonna be a Hanukkah gift because she did see this and she this me. <laughs> she says the funniest thing. She like points at things and says this me. <laughs> So this is going to be lots of fun to play with her on the top. She's into the water now and she's into getting all the shampoos down and stuff like that. And she just creates a chaos. But this is going to be for her. I know people normally buy it oh, just like that. But hey, she's at 15 months old. So we are we're right before the holidays. I said, why not? You know, it's something more for her to open. It's always exciting when you open gifts on holidays or birthdays in my opinion so this was the munchkin this was at the target i think it was like seven 
$4.99 or $7.99, something like that. So I got her this, and I believe this was like $10 on Black Friday. So it's a little people, and you put them in there. And it's age appropriate because it's not small parts that you can't swallow, but it's little people, and you know, I can't wait to play with her and this item. This for $5, it's another puzzle. It's a five food puzzle from uh, Walmart. I got it on uh, Black Friday and it was $5. She's into PJ Masks right now. She watches them on Netflix and on YouTube and she loves them. So she recognized it. Well, she wasn't with me, but when like a couple of days before Black Friday, we went and she saw it and she pointed at it. So my child knows what's good. <laughs> Anyways, it's a wooden puzzle again. For Black Friday, I got excited and she loves the Paw Patrol. She has everything pink, you guys. And I'm not into this gender thing, oh, girly, schmirly, or boyish. I think anything to do with cartoons or anything to do that's something educational and fun for kids, let them play with. So we got the Paw Patrol, a little tunnel. How do you guys like that? This was $15, and I think it's going to last us a long time. I am hoping it's going to last us a long time. It's not too huge, but it's perfect. I could use one part of it or both of them. I think it, she did see the box the other day, and she pointed at it. This me, again, <laughs> she goes into our room, and she just basically, we have to hide all the toys in here. I'm gonna be wrapping them in the next couple. We went to Burlington Coat Factory and um, I always like to see what's in a children's aisle. I allow Emma to pick out her own clothes. Like, of course, I point her in the directions that I want her at age appropriate, but she loves dresses. She's just like my mom. If you've seen my mom from my previous vlogs or the vlog that I have, I'll link it down below when we went to Los Angeles. My mom is a fashion forward person she loves fashion you know my mom um, is very aesthetically glamorous person and I think Emma is exactly my mom she loves anything to do with glamour glitz and it has to be beautiful anyways the moment that she saw this dress and a coat because it has a little sparkles in it she started screaming across the whole s store like she like grabbed it and she like got excited and smiling and laughing so we're gonna get her dresses anyways um, but I got it for 18 to 2 years because she is 15 months old almost but she wears 18 months to 2 years old so I got her this little dress it's silver with the little fufu thing <laughs> you know and she picked out and then a little coat which is awesome because she'll be able to wear with other stuff and I can't wait so we're gonna probably dress her in this when uh, for New Year's and where our little boy is here so winter <laughs> you know we're gonna do pictures and stuff like that so this is gonna last her for a while that's dress number one that she got dress number two that she picked out I'm not joking this is a uh, 14 almost 15 month old child picking out her own clothes like she picked out there's like array of dresses but she saw this and then she saw the other one and what i do i'll put two or three together and say emma which one do you like and she'll grab it she understands trust me so she got this for christmas look how pretty that is and this was 20 dollars 19.99 and it has a little lace and it's poofy and his little undies um, I know it's cold for the winter but what we're gonna do we're gonna put something underneath and we're probably gonna be at home so this is for two years old so she's gonna grow with it too and yeah absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna pull it back yeah that's what she picked out that's dress number two and then for Hanukkah I wanted something in blue with little glitter she said this there were a couple of other dresses but she said this one and she really liked it it pulls back it's very like ballroom type of thing once again and it's like glitzy 
and it's like very elegant so this is gonna be her Hanukkah dress with a little belt she likes anything that has a little bit of uh, glitter or jewelry on I'm not joking she's exactly like my mom anyways you guys um, one more thing that she did get it's in the backyard and I'll put a picture somewhere in here or a little video of it we got it from uh, Facebook uh, marketplace it's a we bought it second hand because the original price of this little fort it's basically uh, for the backyard where the child plays and the picture will be there uh, they climb on it it has a slide we bought it for $50 I think it's in a beautiful condition uh, original price I think like four or five hundred dollars so we did a really good deal so this year we wanted to spend not more than two hundred and fifty dollars on her as far as her gifts go she's only a year and a half I spent a lot less than that with the exception of clothes you know clothes are expensive <laughs> but and then my family bought a lot of clothes for her so that I'm gonna wrap up and she's gonna open up so that vlog's kind of gonna come out but toys wise, I've spent about a hundred, probably even less. So I'm super proud of myself, what I've done. Ryan absolutely loves what I got her. And I hope it was helpful for you guys. So if you're looking for something different than just giving a toy, think about the parents as a new parent and as a tiny, my house is, and you probably have seen my clean with me videos, it gets, overwhelmingly crazy in a house with all of these toys uh, not that i'm telling people i'm not being appreciative of people giving us toys but i would rather have something more educational so i could have a corner with her and i could put her in a cupboard you know we have a lot of toys i don't want any more toys <laughs> i can't stand any more toys i don't have room for the toys but these type of things that she could actually use over and over again and where our son could use over and over again you know i think those are perfect gifts in my opinion you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this video and if you like what i've gotten i think it's budget friendly even if you got a couple of wooden puzzles i couldn't hold myself back it's three dollars you know if you enjoyed this video please make sure to thumbs up uh, comment down below. I love to communicate with you guys and I love to know your opinion and what you guys are thinking um, And I hope you have a happy holidays. I know there's more than just Christmas and Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah Merry Christmas and a happy new year and happy Holidays to everybody. All right, and I will see you guys in my next video Bye you meant the world to me.